Okay, let's talk about dynamic data sources within Excel and referencing those dynamic data sources with a pivot table. So basically, a, a dynamic data source is for when you have a bunch of data in a, a, a worksheet and um, new rows or new columns would be added to that data. So, for instance, um, we have this, we have our data here, um, uh, here in this data worksheet, and let's say like a new column is added, um, or um, like a new row is added, you know, which is very typical, right? Our data is updated, new rows are are, are added, or uh, one of the existing rows are changed. Well. Um, we want to be able to, um, uh, if we're just referencing like a, a set amount of data, like up to row 8126, well, if the new row is added, then um, it won't be um, encapsulated within our, uh, our pivot table um, data um, because it's not dynamically changing. So in order to fix that, we're going to create a dynamic data source. So if you go to Formulas, Name Manager, um, and then we're going to create a, um, a, a formula here that basically will get the dynamic data. So we're going to call this um, dynamic data. Okay. And then for our formula, I have the formula here in Notepad. I like to put my formulas in Notepad and manipulate them in Notepad um, and then put them into um, the Excel uh, formula editor um, just because it's kind of, it's hard to manipulate the data uh, manipulate the formula in this little window and it um, a lot of times um, uh, isn't it, it kind of messes up the formula so it's to me it's easier to just do it in notepad so um, we have this this formula here uh, first offset refers to a range of data data exclamation point or bang um, is the worksheet that we're going to reference. And we're going to start at the um, first cell and then count a um, uh, data here is the number of, uh, of, of columns. So it counts the number of continuous columns and then count a um, data 1-1 one, one here, this counts the number of continuous rows. So let's take this formula and we're going to put this in to our formula manager here. Okay, now we have a dynamic data um, uh, formula here that we can reference with a pivot table. So I'm going to close that. I'm going to go over here back to my cost worksheet and now I'm going to create a new pivot table and we're going to call this or we're going to reference dynamic data so it equals dynamic data okay so you can see it referenced that the range of data um, within our work within our data worksheet so now we have a, a dynamic data reference.